because boomers didn't grow up on watching stories or right, Snapchat. Yeah. I feel like I just got completely let on and played. Cancel a date on me so we can go to the gym or do his groceries. Drive me crazy. I thought you at least would have had the balls to text me back and be honest with me. I texted him because I can't help myself. <laughs> Welcome guys, my name is Art and today I'm here with my friend Spencer. We met up with Spencer very randomly on the street and we also have already one video together. This is his story about coming out as Catholic. You really loved Spencer and I decided to bring him back. So how you've been Spencer? I am great. It's been a very busy couple of months. As Art was saying, we have a video about how I came out as gay at Catholic school. Check it out. Fun times. It's not a good time, but it's a fun time, fun video. Today we're talking about struggles in gay dating as Gen Z. You know, it's very, very different now. Now there's a lot of more opportunities to date and today we're gonna try to talk about it. Before we before we get to the topic, you said that you have your book coming out. Yes, my first book comes out this year. My novels, I'm a writer, by the way. Um, those don't come out for a minute. So my first book is a compilation of short stories and you can hear all about that on my website. Uh, which um, you can just see yeah. right now here. That's quite a um, combination. The YouTuber, TikToker, and OnlyFans, and a writer. <laughs> writer, writer <laughs> TikToks for the gays, you name it. Very, it's like, there's a lot going on here. So I'm gonna start with the gay dating and Gen Z. Yeah. So as a lot of you know, I already have a boyfriend. We've been dating for, I think 18 months or 19 months. Pretty long time in gay gay age, I would say. Yeah. Gay people are not as good in dating, I think. Not, I'm not saying the straight people are good at dating, but gay people definitely have some commitment issues, I feel like. Before this, I did really had a hard time. I really had a hard time dating because I was very new to this, but I want to tell you that my biggest struggle when I was dating, and again, I'm Gen Z, still Gen Z, I'm like Gen Z in, in the millennial. I think like my biggest struggle was the communication over the text messages and the, the communication over internet. Like for example, what happens is like you text with someone and they send you emoji right and you can like treat this emoji differently so you don't know how to i mean if it's an eggplant it's very obvious and you know if it's speeches and like it's dirty emojis right. but for example someone sends an emoji and i really don't know how to treat it and i have this thing that i really want to like text and like get an answer right away but for example someone would take an hour to answer and it's gonna drive me crazy because for me i feel always like if they really like you they would really have to like answer you right away, but also I'm <laughs> not right away, but yeah. <laughs> not uh, not right away. But I yeah. feel like they would at least have first. They would not wait for a day, but like I also should understand that they have life and they, for example, you know, are busy. So my first biggest struggle, I would say, the communication and text messages and uh, how long is the how long is the time that is appropriate for them to answer and you understand that they're just busy and also the balance of texting them and telling like you're not super annoying like I don't want to be annoying you know what I mean like because yeah, I'm afraid of being annoying like okay I'm gonna text you like 10 times and you text me once but what if he's just bad texter so this is my number one what are you thinking about this and like what do you think about yours okay so there's a lot to unpack here with you know dating as a gay person you know or anyone who's just part of this community right I feel like dating can be really challenging I have struggled with this my Ever since I came out when I was 16. You're 20 now. I'm 20 now. I'm 20 years old. Yeah, I'm old. I just turned 20 back you in November. Have a lot of time. <laughs> I know, I have a lot of time. But, you know, I feel like, I guess the thing is, if they want you enough, then they will show it. Mm -hmm. And if they are willing to be with you and they are actually, you know, a good, decent person, then that should become very clear from the beginning. And I actually went through this. I don't know. I'm not going to share the story yet. I'll let Art ask. No, no ask. I, I want to share the, share the story. I want to hear it. Okay. You know, I was just ghosted pretty bad. Like, I got played really fucking hard. Um, and I guess what I can learn from this experience is, like, while being ghosted sucks, you know, is, like, overlooked the red flags because I was just hoping to find the person that would, like, be that person. And I think that when you want someone or you want to date someone, sometimes you let go of preconceived notions you let go of some of your standards because you just want to know what it feels like to be loved i'd say okay so i met this boy and he took me on this date it was a really good date very intimate very good date right and having a good date where you want to go on a second date that is rare okay i went on a date with this finance bro back in october holy shit holy shit he was texting at his, on his phone the entire time at the dinner table he he took me to a wine bar and he was like sifting the wines and drinking them as if he was a god like 
he was so pretentious. And then like the entire time he was just talking about all the other people he hooked up with at the club. So it was just a really bad date, right? He's so just, he's just a really bad person. Yeah, he's a terrible person. Yeah. Oh, fun fact, he also texted me like a month ago saying, hey, can we just hook up? Like, I have no interest in wanting to know you as a person. I just want to have sex with you. Um, so I blocked him. <laughs> um, shout out Sam, you're an asshole. Um, <laughs> he is. But I guess with this date, you know, finding a guy that you want to go on a second date with is rare, you know? I'm sure you had this with your boyfriend now. You know, you were like, wow, I want to hang out with him again. I want to know this person more. And I had this great date and I was like, wow, I really want to know this person. And we were talking and it was going great. And we went on a date one. And then by the time date Wait, two I'm came confused. around, is it the same? Is it the same guy? This is a different guy. This, this is, is different. this is okay. this is not Cause, Sam. Cause, okay, because this just... is not Sam. <laughs> Sam is blocked. <laughs> Sam is an asshole. I see you're dating out there, Spencer. I see. You. I, I go I go on I go on a date here and there, but I haven't been on a date in months. Sam was my last date in months, okay. and that was in October. So I haven't been on a date for like three months. Huh? So I go on this date with this guy. It's great. It's perfect. I want to go on date tip number two. You know, I'm like. When is this next date gonna happen? And he's texting me, he's being so sweet, it's going great. And then the first kind of inklings of like a red flag show up when he says to me like an hour before our second date, hey Spencer, I hate to do this to you, but can you like make the date really short? I know you have this whole thing planned out, but I'm just so busy with the gym and with groceries. That was what he said like verbatim, like he's busy with the gym and groceries. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but like, dude, like I skipped the gym on Tuesday to hang out with you. Like, I'm not gonna be, yeah. I'm not gonna give you a hard time about it. I barely, you know, I was just kind of like, all right, weird, whatever. So we hang out, it's great. He tells me how he wants to hang out with me again, how he had a great time Off with me. <laughs> and, you know, he actually literally went to the gym right from the date because oh he was God. so busy with the gym. Um, and then after that, he's texting me and then we had plans for Friday. And when Friday came around, I was like, all right, like, what's the plan? Ghosts me. Ghosts me, guys. I am ghosted. Oh, flat out ghosted. Age. He's my age. Yeah. He's 20 years old. Um, he actually, like, literally turned 20, like, the day before our second date. So I was going to do, like, a nice thing and go, like, get dessert with him, you know? Because I thought that'd be nice. Like, I don't know. So but cool. he ghosted me. Completely ghosted me, you know? Radio silence. And I wasn't going to give it the time of day. Already, the ball was in his court. So I let it sit. And then two days go by. Two and a half, nothing. I get a Snapchat, a Snapchat, and it's just some selfie he probably sent to all his hosts. And I was like, damn, this kid's an asshole. Um, <laughs> was he hot? Not hot enough to ghost me. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, he's cute. Yeah. yeah, but not not like, I don't think anyone's cute enough to ghost anyone. Yeah. I'm very anti-ghosting, unless the person is like evil. What was the end? I texted him because I can't help myself. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. I, I can't help myself. I really can't. I can't. And I said to him, I said, I said, listen. I said, well, I'm very surprised and you know confused that you ghosted me. I thought you at least would have had the balls to text me back and be honest with me. Thanks for the dates. I guess unfollowed him on everything. I'm done. So we don't we, we don't even talk anymore. Respond. No, he didn't respond. Which is whatever. It's you know the life lesson you can learn here. Yeah. I'd say. Sorry, I'm talking no, a lot. No, no, I like the life talk, lesson though. I can I, you can learn here is like make sure you pick people that like know your worth. Like I'm not worth a guy who can't text me back for three days straight. Yeah. I'm not worth a guy who tries to cancel a date on me so he can go to the gym or do his groceries. Do that another time. You know it's important to meet the right people that respect you enough where they, they they'll like you know they want to hang out with you and make the effort to show that to you i like a lot of what you said especially like so a lot of people in the comments might be saying that okay like you shouldn't just text him that you're unfollowing him i'm sure there are going to be kind of people but i personally agree with you because you should do whatever gives you a closure if you want to yeah. text him you're an asshole you can text I didn't him, say, you know, but like that, you know what I mean. But like, yeah. why not to do whatever gives you a closure? Because he's a mean guy. But fun thing about the gym, I was uh, talking to this guy in Los Angeles, like when I just started dating, right. and everything was great, and we had like spent like all great three days and whatever. And then at some point, there was the same excuse: "Hey, actually, like I really want to go to the gym today, and like I'm busy at work." And um, but the gym thing, I was like, "What do you mean? Like you can't skip the gym?" I'm I mean, please, people who go to the gym don't hate me, but, like, if you can't skip, skip the yeah. gym, it's not your priority. Like, listen, like, here's the thing. <laughs> I, I, I'm not done yet, because I don't want... I'm, if I see any comments giving me shit for this, I don't care. Listen, 
you know, this is why I'm annoyed with this whole situation. We, you're going to say to me, I had a great time with you. I had such a nice time with you. You're so great. You're so sweet. You're so kind. I really want to get to know you more. I had, you know, if that is what you think and that's what you're telling to a person and then you ghost them, that's not being honest. And that's why I texted him because I was kind of like, you know what? I feel like I just got completely let on and played. And all my friends were like, don't text him. But you know, I, I couldn't help myself. I had, to, I had to say something. I'm sorry. If you make an asshole move, then you, you have, then you have every right to call that person out for being an asshole. And to go to your gym point, sorry, is my gym point is simple. I go to the gym every day. You work out, I work out. If you want to make time for that person, you have to either shorten your time at the gym or sacrifice <laughs> the things that you do in your everyday life to, you know, see a person. Or go earlier. Or go earlier. Yeah, not at 10 p.m. after our date because you're just have to, you know, like... Yeah, so, sleep less. Go for it. <laughs> I don't know. It's I like just it. I like I honestly yeah. I honestly love the story. It's just what gay people are sometimes, and I think it's not only gay people. It's like gay men or straight men. Yeah. They have a lot in common. Just men. Just men and while yeah, I think and it's two legit factors. They're like you know ghosting, and I think that texting. It's like to, they're very come together, you know, because yeah. if they ghost you and text you, and then you can see also in our generation. Because boomers didn't grow up on watching stories or right, Snapchat yeah. or like millennials too. They they had Snapchat though, right? They millennials, but not not, really. not not that much, right? So first of all, I just want to say that these are the struggles specific to us. There are more people who like would look at this differently. And the story that the Spencer had and the story that I had, they're very similar. You know, people who are wanting to make time for you, they're going to make time for you. And the pr unfortunate thing, sometimes uh, people want, especially gay people, because a lot of them were not able to date in college or like, you know, experience like same experience as straight people. Yeah. So they really want to be loved and to be accepted and to have this experience. So they would say like, Oh, red flag? Oh, but he stole. Oh, no, I don't see red flag. <laughs> you know, right? Oh, he's stolen. Cute. Oh, I don't see red flag, you know? So I think this is the common mistake of a lot of people. And I want to ask you guys, what do you think is the biggest struggle to date in your generation? Because I know I have people who watch me from... 16 years old all the way to 85 years old let me know in comments we're gonna do like maybe second part of this if you really like it because i there is a lot more to unpack but i don't want to do a 30 minutes video i'm gonna leave spencer's link in here in my description he's gonna come back let me know if you have comments to him and also he created his youtube channel so make sure you go subscribe yeah. and give him a thumbs up and also watch all of his videos and thank you guys so much for having me once again my main platform i'd say is tiktok so that's spencer thomas with two r's and then all my socials are linked there. The one final thing I want to say is like a takeaway. Being a person in this community, you know, no matter what you identify as, is I think all of us at the end of the day want to experience love and feeling being wanted and most importantly, feeling safe. And we're going to sacrifice a lot of the things that we feel or a lot of the ways, you know, a person may treat us because we hope that they can give us those things. And at the end of the day, it's so much more important to be on your own, stand on your two feet, be proud of who you are, and wait for the right person to show. Don't waste your time on low energy men who only care about themselves. Trust me, I've learned the lesson the hard way. Got ghosted. But you know, it's just important to hold your ground and eventually the right person will show. Do I have any proof of that? No, <laughs> I don't, because I'm still alone, but I'm okay with being alone, you know? I it's, have um, proof, no worries. Art has proof. You can talk about this for hours. So art is your proof. There you go. All right, thank you again so much. Thank you, guys. And uh, we will see you soon. And make sure see you, you leave the comments for Spencer, and maybe he'll answer some more questions. Bye.